Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Algebra 2 Common Core Regions. We're doing this one question at a time. Here's question 17. Consider the following patterns. And then we have all these different patterns. Uh, which pattern is geometric? So remember, geometric sequences, that's what we're looking for here, um, means we are multiplying or dividing between each term. So that's what we're going to be looking at. We're going to want to go through each one to make sure we have the right one. So let's just plug in our calculator and, and look at choice number one. If we, we go from 16 to negative 12. So, so let's just do negative 12 divided by 16. We get negative 0.75. Okay. And then let's see the relationship between 9 and negative 12 by doing the same thing. So we're going to take 9 and divide negative 12, negative 0.75 again. And then let's just double make sure because this looks good so far that it looks like we are multiplying times negative three halves to each term so now let's check negative 6.75 divided by 9 the next two terms and so this is our answer because the relationship to each term is based on multiplication or division so we know that choice one is our answer I also have a video on geometric sequences if you want to check that out I'll put that right here so on to the next question uh, number 18, consider the system below and we have three terms and we're going to need to solve for each one. And it says which value is not in the solution x, y, z of the system. So we're going to need to solve for x, y, and z to find the answer to this question. So in order to do that, let's, um, let's write them all. Let's take the first two. So, so whenever you want to find x, y, or z when you have these three term unknowns, just take a pair of the equations. So let's do x plus y plus c equals 9 and let's pick another one right here x minus y minus c equals negative 1. So now we want to using elimination uh, we want to just add these two equations together and see what happens. So what we're doing is saying x plus x is 2x and then notice y plus negative y that's going to cancel out and z plus negative z that's also going to cancel out leaving us with 9 plus negative 1 which will give us 8. So now we just have 2x equals 8 and we can quickly solve for x. So we'll divide by 2 and we end up with x equals 4. So we know that 4 is going to be one of our answers. So let's write it down over here. And now, so we have x equals 4, but we need to find y and z also. Okay, so now we'll take actually a different pair of equations because if we took the same pair, the, the y and the z's would cancel out again. So we don't want that to happen. We need a y or a z to find its value. So we're going to take um, the first equation, 4, but now plugging in 4 for x, 4 plus y plus z equals 9. And let's take the last equation, because then we could add the z's together. Notice this is a positive z, so we know that um, we'll be able to find a value of z here. So we're plugging in 4 for x, and this time it's minus y, so the y's are going to cancel out, and then plus z equals 21. So when we add these together, we're going to get 8, the y's cancel out, we get 2z, and then we have 9 plus 21, which is 30, this is a plus here, and now just solving like a regular uh, algebraic equation, so we have subtract 30 minus 8, we want to subtract 8 from both sides, this gives us 22, so 2z equals 22, divide 2 by both sides and then we get z equals 11. So we know that x equals 4 and z equals 11. So now that we have almost every um, variable, we can find the last one. Uh, we could find the value of y. So let's just take one of our equations. We have x plus y plus z equals 9, and now we're going to plug in everything we have so far. So we have x equals 4. We don't know y yet. And then we have 11 for z. So this will give us 15 plus y equals 9 track 15 from both sides and we end up with y is equal to negative 6. So so now let's take another look at our our choices. So which we want to know which value is not in the solution. So we know 4 is in the solution, we know 11 is in the solution, we know negative 6 in the solution, but negative 8 choice 1 is not in the solution. So that is our answer. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!